What is the furthest distance that may be traveled by car between two locations on Earth? The one that includes Africa, Asia, and Europe. Although there is land connecting all three of these continents, the Suez Canal prevents a complete land crossing from Africa to Asia. This is the canal that uses this, rather than that, to transport boats from Europe to Asia. The three bridges that span the canal represent the only physical link between the two continents, but the road network is still contiguous, and hence remains a single large road network. Welcome to the real truth. Please hit the subscribe button here below for new, better content. Speaking of vast things, Australia, the sixth largest nation in the world and the smallest continent, has its own extensive road network. Not much can be said about it other than the fact that traveling a little distance in this direction leads to both Americas. Like Africa and Asia, the Americas aren't formally connected because of the Panama Canal, an artificial waterway. However, that is not an issue because the small waterway is crossed by several bridges. This is the issue, the Darien Gap. This barren swampland that stretches over the Panama-Colombia border is uncrossed by any roads. Drug lords and paramilitary groups have taken over the area. Simply said, there isn't enough demand to justify building a road through the hazardous and marshy terrain. This explains why the road systems in North and South America are entirely unrelated and different. Where might the longest route begin then? Though it barely spans 7,500 miles, the North American road system extends as far north as Prudhoe Bay in Canada's Alaska and as far south as Yavaza in Panama. Although that is six days of non-stop travel, it is by no means the longest journey. It makes sense that the longest routes aren't found in North America, South America, or Australia. Although common sense would have us believe that Eastern Russia is the longest continuous route from someplace in Southern Africa to somewhere else, common logic is incorrect. There are some problems. The first stop on nearly every direct route up the African continent is Kinshasa, in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, which is reached by traveling via the west side of the continent. Brazzaville, in the Republic of the Congo, is located just over the river from Kinshasa. Nevertheless, there isn't a bridge that connects the two capital cities. The most direct routes from Southern Africa to Asia nearly often pass through Western Europe due to the region's more advanced and speedier highways. Nevertheless, this implies that a passenger must use a ferry to cross the Mediterranean, ruling out this option. Therefore, we must be European in origin. Sagres. Portugal is the most northerly point on Europe's contiguous road network and you may travel as far east as the Russian banks of the Aldan River. Even at 8,438 total miles, that isn't nearly the furthest you can travel by car. Here, in Kazan, Russia, the driving distance is significantly greater. The sole town in Russia that borders North Korea is Kazan, which is also where their road infrastructure ends most abruptly. The longest continuous direct driving route in the world from Sagres, Portugal to Kazan, Russia, takes six days and 19 hours to complete because there are no ferries and only two customs crossings made possible by the European Union. That is all. I appreciate you viewing, and I'll see you in the future clip.